welcome back, friends and family, to Ratchet and Clank. I'm Octox, and this is Ratchet and Clank, and we continue this this time by going this route, which is the place I told, uh, I talked about in the last episode with the water thing, water maze gauntlet thing. I don't know, but actually, we have to switch up our items a little bit. Let's change that to this, the hydro, hydro displace, hydro displacer. That was a funny word. And let's do that. And the taunter, because I don't use the suck cannon or taunter ever. Um, and actually put the key there then. There we go. Going way down. And with the hydro displacer, we can bring out water. This is... Okay, no. I have this place here. There we go. You can suck out the water, which this doesn't work. Why is this a thing? I don't know. But here you have to have the hella pack. So, that's the thing. And we fill it up here, and we can go through the hole in the wall. And progress towards the thing. I just got really mellow. I just. Whoa. Stuff happening. I what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I had I had this whole I had this whole topic planned in my head and I just forgot about it. Alright. Um so the other day I was working and I work as a substitute for for the the, the people of the preschool and stuff. And uh, I mean I I see myself as pretty good at it um, I mean everybody has their own style of teaching and so on and so forth and like having order also we have a, a, a air meter right now which will become very problematic very soon um, but but I think I have like the good level of uh, strict and fun but the thing is like every time I get to a new place or I return to a place after a long while like it's like you have to prove yourself again or something like that and I mean I had like um, also here's here's the thing we are timed there's water coming and we're just going to flutter by flutter by my young friends um, and it's like just because I had I had like I did no okay wait I screwed up I screwed up I don't think we can make it now but hey that's just the theory we'll see because I I went to to like to like a school where yeah I won't make it I'm not gonna make it I am not at all gonna make it can we can we can we make it I don't I don't I doubt it I doubt it come on swim faster than the speed of light ratchet I know you can do it I believe in you oh no we cannot this is filled this is not supposed to be filled yet yeah we lost and that side of oh camera okay a ratchet drowning it's just and the sound of Ah, it haunts my nightmares. But I went to a school where, like, teach you, the main focus is, like, uh, educating you to be, like, a, a preschool teacher or, and such. Uh, and, I mean, I had fun. I had fun, but that's, like, all theory. You don't get to put something to practice, but you do. Because one every semester, one time, a few weeks every semester, you get to go out and do preschool or... A daycare or whatever and um, you get to like learn right there how you do and how stuff is happening and stuff this time is going way better um, and the thing is every time you, you you go to to a place you have to prove yourself right because you have to show the both because you have like a teacher on place because I'm saying because a lot <laughs> because is now the new basically no but basically <laughs> I did it with purpose um, 
But basically, you have you have a mentor, I guess you could say, on on like who is a regular teacher there, who teaches you, teaches you stuff and about the kids and everything. Because no no kids are the same, which is like you have to think on your feet. Um, but every time you get to a new play, every time that happened, you had to like uh, prove yourself and like don't mess up. You had to always think about what you were doing. And I thought when I got out of that and actually got to work as a substitute, I actually didn't have to worry about that. I was dead wrong. I worry now even more because I get booked. Like, I, they book me for certain places. So, if I don't do good, I don't get booked. So, hey, hey, hey. that Rescon pressure and stuff. Yeah, Captain Quirk is in here. We, we found him. Security. Yay. But, sir, I'm sure the Captain Quirk won't understand once we... Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in. You snap a picture of the captain in his Who would want that picture? Seriously. To the info tabloid for a million volts. You've got it all wrong. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making Ooh, that is not a lot. And I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. So you have to get bribe him, dance. basically. Okay, yeah. Take it. You see how it works. You grease the hinges. <laughs> what an asshole. Opens. Captain Quark. Hello. It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the... Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet. Why hasn't know? he done something about it, then? Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet... I've been keeping an eye on you, and I've never seen I don't trust this. Raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean, I could be famous? Oh, that's all he wants. Fame and fortune. Oh, here, God damn it, Ratchet. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure <laughs> blind luck? Cash! Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the Good galaxy. for you, man. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contractions? <laughs> can you quickly quunk? Can, can you quickly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Okay, then. Sounds good. Let's do it. I'm all for it. Meet me at... Uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet, what do you think? We won't fail you, sir. Yeah, I don't trust this at all. If he knew about it, why wouldn't he stop it? Hmm? 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 Yeah, I don't trust this. We'll see. We'll get there soon. We'll, we'll actually be able to get quite a bit far into the, the thing in this episode. Because it's like only halfway done. Good goody. I take a drink. Okay. Can we can we taxi stop please? Thank you very much. And let's fly away. Let's fly. Let's fly away to Quark's HQ on Planet Umbrus. Away we go. Okay, so back to the topic. You have to prove yourself, right? Because otherwise I don't get booked and if I don't get booked, I don't get work, and I don't, if I don't get work, I don't get money. And you need money to money, because money is money. <laughs> La da. Um, so it's always like a, a thing, and, and every like, every person who books, every person there, who's an, or, I, okay, wait. Get the goddamn cutscenes. Conquer it, and you'll 
join in my fight against evil. Haven't we done it What? Already? I can't I, hear you. I can't hear you. I said, haven't we done? Sorry, still having trouble. Tell me later. Later? We might be dead. <laughs> Oh, I like that's like one of my favorite cutscenes. It, it's it's funny. Okay, so we have to prove yourself to the teachers who work there ordinarily. So, and all of those, all of them have different preferences by their own. Some may think I'm too soft. Some may think I'm too hard. And it's always like a, it's always you, you have to like ah. It's hard, okay? But that was not the topic I was gonna talk about. That was just a sidetrack. Uh, <laughs> weirdly enough. Um, but was I, what I was gonna talk about was how I always stay cool, calm, and collected. Um, but the thing I hate the most, which always pisses me off, and this is just regarding kids. So if you think you're gonna, you can fuck with me, then that's not possible because this is only when I try to educate people is when when I get my serious face uh, and actually tries to talk seriously to to the kids and like stop doing that you can't you can't just do that and they laugh at my face I don't like that I don't really care for that seriously that is like the worst thing ever I mean, who who really likes to be laughed at when trying to be serious? And um, to be honest, a little scary. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of implied. I mean, come on. Can we can we kill this guy before he you know, jump over the bullets? There we go. And down you go, sir or madam or both. I don't know. I don't have a preference. So just just go away. Bombs. Go away. Okay, so that was a little rant, but I felt that I had to be said. Said and said, said? I don't know. But that being said, I haven't had work in quite a while because for some, there was there was a while where I had like work every day and um, because I get booked by days, I got booked like um, almost every day in one week. I think like four days and was like five different people I had to fill in for. And then I also got booked for the week after that. Um, so we got li like a lot and I didn't, I guess I didn't have time to put it on my calendar. So I missed to ride down one day. So I missed a day to go to the place. Um, so I, so they called me and I was like, oh, well, shit, I must have forgotten. Um, sorry, um, I'll be there as soon as possible. And I was there like 10 minutes. Um, so I was like 40 minutes late. Um, and they said it was all okay. But the thing is, I haven't, I haven't like heard anything from them since. Um, and there's like three different places I can be at that school. Um... And there was like, I started there and I was like, I was like there all the time. And since that, I haven't been there at all. They, ha I haven't gotten a single request from there just because I missed one time. And I mean, you're not supposed to miss even once. I do realize that, but I was very sorry. I did apologize like five times. And I mean, I guess word gets around and stuff. So I haven't had that much work in like three weeks now. Like two or three times a week, maybe. So yeah, I fucked up on that, and I'm very sad about that. So I should probably like call them up and apologize again, and, like ask what's up <laughs> or something like that. Um, but hey, that's just life, and that just makes me more nervous because then I have to like be on alert like all the time when I'm there because they are already doubting me in that case. Which nobody likes. I mean, nobody likes being doubted. Space is three buttons. Continue onward. 
So this is like the, the Captain Quark's trial, I guess. For pro proving yourself to be a hero. A hero. Are you a hero? You gotta take the first. Okay, this is... Nope. I don't like you. Stop it. Don't shoot me with bullets. I do not like your bullets, sir. This is like one of the most hard... Like, tracks. Or, not tracks. Um, hard... Courses? Planets? I don't know. You know what I mean. Um, in the early game. Because this is still a pretty early game. And this is like, I mean, it, it makes sense because the story is that you have to prove yourself to be a hero. So, it does make sense. Goodbye, guy. And if we get over here... Slingshot. Slingshot. Spider-Man. I am Spider-Man. Get over here and press these three buttons. There we go. And get all of the bolts, all of the riches. We need them to buy stuff. Nothing is free in life, except when you find items, because then they're free. This opens, and there's a gold bolt inside this fortress. This fortress of solitude, as it were. Superman, are you in here? I ask for your assistance to, to defeat Chairman Drek. Because kill, we don't say kill. Do we? Did Superman ever kill anybody? I mean, except for the, the, the Man of Steel movie. Because I didn't like that movie. It was very dark and very... Eh. I am very excited for Sup Batman vs. Superman, though. Or Superman vs. Batman. You know what, what movie I mean. Which, like... In... Later days, Batman has really grown in my eyes. It's becoming one of my favorite superheroes. I didn't get what the deal was with Batman at the, at the start, but then... My favorite thing about Batman is the villains. I mean, I guess that's not very surprising. A lot of people say that. But I mean, come on. They're interesting and, and fun and stuff. And I didn't grow up watching the Batman the Animated Series either. So I didn't have like anything. The first, uh, the first like real exposure I had to Batman was probably the Arkham City game because I got to borrow that of a friend, and I just really liked it. And it is the best of the Arkham games. So, okay, can we hurry up and press the last button? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I hear the dungelung. I hear the dungelung. That means the door opens. <laughs> Everybody knows that the dungelung means that the door opens. That's just common sense. Okay, I want to talk about the trailer for Ratchet and Clank, but hey, I just watched, looked at my timer and realized that may be a topic for the next episode. Because that might take a while. <laughs> I, I just really like Ratchet and Clank. If you have not noticed that. I wonder if I can set up a chain reaction here. A little bit. Oh, we can just burn him. Burn in hell. Burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn, burn. Okay, I'm just gonna open this door and then we'll end off the episode. How about that? That sounds like a good plan. Also, hello, Captain Quark. You, you, you really have a big ego. I mean, come on, man. Really? And you're just courtyard. There's, there's this, this bronze statue of yourself. Okay. So, that is going to be it for this episode of Ratchet and Clank. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all the fun stuff. I'll see you next time.